Good day everyone, we are back with another Unity tutorial and in this part we're going to be working on a level select menu. Now the first thing that we want to do is we just want to open up our main project and then we want to go to file, new scene and then there we have it, we've got our new scene and our camera is all set up and things like that. The only thing that we might want to do is get rid of background, the skybox and things like that but for this I'm not going to go into uh, too much detail about the pretty stuff because I've covered it in previous videos what you can do for that and how you can apply your own background. What we want to do is we want to set up a new UI component as we've been doing so much lately. So we should be pretty familiar with what we're about to do. So we're going to go to game object, UI and then we're going to go to canvas. This should seem quite familiar to everyone. And then we're going to go to UI and text. And this is what we're going to build our main menu off of. So the first thing that we want to do is manipulate the text a little bit to make it suit what we want. So let's you know, what, just call this main menu or um, even better we call this bullets because that's our game. And if you want to apply any different fonts then you can just click on the bullseye thing here and then I'm guessing you just have to import your own fonts there but we don't have any right now so this will do now what we want to do is we want to make this both overflow so we can see our text a bit more clearly and we want to scale up our text a little bit let's see how 50 is 50 is fine by me and then we're going to go to the anchor presets and just as before, we're going to hold Alt and Shift and see where we can move our text just generally. And then we're going to go to the scene view and we're going to move it around manually. So let's select the text and then just move it around as we want. So I'm just going to have it at a clean minus 50 there. I'm going to have it at, I don't know, 55 over here. Okay so now that we've got that done let's return to the game view to see how that's going. That's going pretty well for us. If we want to change the colour of our text then we can do that so as you saw me do I went to the inspector and then I went to colour and now I can just change the colour of our text. So I'm just going to have that a nice red scene that sort of reflects what our player looks like. Uh, turn it up a little bit and we've got what we need. Alright, now the next thing that we want to do is we want to select the canvas and add another UI component. So we're going to go to UI button and then that's going to be our next component. And as we can see our new button has some text attached to it so we don't have to worry about that too much. But let's just change the positioning of it a little bit. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to change the size of the button. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the width about 100. And we're going to scale down that height a little bit. We'll go back to the scene view, adjust its positioning again. And that seems okay to me. So now we just have to change what the text says. So let's make this level 1. And let's change the alignment a little bit so our text isn't out of line with the bullet's title. And then let's change the colour of our text again. We'll use an eyedropper tool and we're just going to click on our text there. And that should be good for that. Now what we don't want to see in our game is some massive button that just sort of, it makes it look like our text is out of line. It, it's just sort of iffy and kind of gross. So the next thing that we want to do with the button is we want to go to its color and we're going to change the alpha so this value down to zero so that it becomes invisible but we don't want to like deactivate it because that would cause us problems and for the next part we want to add some interactivity to our button so how are we going to do that well we're going to create a new script so let's go over to our scripts folder so as always, to create a new script, we just right click, go to create, and then C sharp. And once our new script has been generated, we have the ability to rename it by just clicking on its 
name here so I'm going to call this main menu and then if I double click on this script or go to open here I'll be able to open it in mono develop which is just what I'm going to do so I'll see you guys over in mono develop okay so here we are in mono develop and what we want to do is add some script that's going to allow us to switch through levels but the first thing that we want to do is tell unity that we're actually going to want to be doing this so we're going to go using unity engine dot scene management and that's going to fix any technical difficulties that we might run into without doing that the next thing that we want to do is we want to go make a space between that and we want to go public void load scene All right and then in brackets we're going to put int level and then close those brackets now we're going to make some squigglies and take that to the next line so just enter here enter there and then we're going to input scene manager dot oops sorry dot load scene and then we're going to just in those brackets we're going to put level again close those brackets and then put a semicolon at the end and then put another squiggly at the end here just to make sure we don't have any passing errors and then once we're happy with our scripts there we don't have any uh, red highlighted areas what well, once we're happy with that we're going to hit file and save now with old unity uh, and some tutorials that you might find it's going to say application dot load level but with the current versions of unity that's not going to work so you're going to want to use this script to make a main menu next we want to return to unity and see what we can do in the inspector to apply this fully to our game okay so now we're back in unity what we want to do is we want to go to canvas and then we want to go add component and scripts and then we're going to take that main menu script and apply it to our canvas make sure it's the canvas because that is what is holding everything so our script is now applied and the next thing that we want to do is we want to go over to our button and go down the inspector over to on click and this is what we're going to do we're going to press this plus right here and what we're going to do is we're going to take our canvas and move it over to here and then where it says no function what we want it to do is we want it to load a new scene so we're going to go to click on no function then main menu and then load scene and we're going to make this value 1 and we can just leave runtime only as it is and this is where we go into the build settings so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to file build settings and then we're going to make sure that nothing is in our build that we do not want right and we're going to add some scenes to our build so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to save this scene so save scene and we're going to call it main uh, menu so I've saved my scene and it should show up in the build settings right about now and now it showed up in my build settings and the next thing that we're going to do is add scenes that aren't currently open so we're going to take this window over here and hopefully you would have realized that in your levels folder over here is where our main scene is stored and what we can do is we can just drag that into there and that becomes value one and once we're satisfied with that we can just exit this window and then hit play and see what happens okay so we've got our title screen and unfortunately the button's showing up for some reason but we'll sort that out in a second and when i click this what's going to happen we open up our game straight into the action and that is what i'm talking about now you can add more than just you know one level to this and i'll show you how to do that in a second but it's really good that we've got things working so far so we're just going to stop our game and now we're back in our original scene and if you want to add more levels to this scene what you want to do is you want to go to canvas UI and then button 
and rinse and repeat. So the same things that we did for here, we're going to apply that canvas over here. So if we go down here, you know, list is empty, hit that plus right there, apply that canvas, and then make maybe set our value to 2. Uh, let me demonstrate that right now. Uh, so you go to no function, click that main menu, load scene, and then make that value 2. And I'm just going to run you through the logic of that. I'll actually remove this component right now. Just delete that because I don't need it. Now if we take a look at our build settings, what it says is our main menu's value is 0 and our levels value is 1 and this is exactly what we want because otherwise we see our first level before our second level and that wouldn't really make too much sense now I hope you enjoyed that Unity tutorial and it helped you out in some way shape or form and maybe the keen viewer noticed that there was a bit of a lapse in time when I was loading the new scene so the best way to remedy that is to add a loading screen which we're going to be doing in the next lesson as well as figuring out how to make a scoring system and how to make a game over state for our game we are finally coming to the end of this unity series and it's been a good journey it's been a good dip into actually using unity instead of saying i'm going to use unity tomorrow i'll use it tomorrow and I, uh, I want to thank everyone for the support that you've shown. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to comment something, leave a comment. If you want to subscribe, you can do that too. And thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the views and the likes and the good feedback. And as always, I will be back another time.